been six months since we began the Automated Worker Program, and by all accounts, it's been a massive success. Otto works day and night. He's so efficient that we've cut labor and still managed a 200% increase in productivity. Now, welcome to phase two. Meet the Automated Worker 2.0. Smarter, faster, and now featuring a self-charging lithium-ion battery. Plus, like Auto, it comes with a patented RT7 learning chip. So on-the-job training is a piece of cake. So how much staff are we talking about replacing? 90%. 90%? We have 120 employees here. We're only going to need 12. The key creative positions, labor, shipping, receiving, these units can manage it all. Susan, these are real people we're talking about. Some of them have been with us since your father and I started the business. I know, Bill, but labor costs keep increasing. And with auto, it's the first time we've seen profits in four years. If we do this now, we can give our employees a really great severance package. If we wait in three years, we'll be shutting the doors to this place and they'll get nothing. Look, we owe it to our workers. I don't know. Let me look at the numbers. If it makes sense, you can tell Automated Solutions it's a go. You're not going to regret this. Yes, I will. Because I'm not a machine. is your full source energy efficient vendor. Our unique product line is fully registered to satisfy all energy mandates. Our paralegal staff will take care of all your compliance verification with our decades of insulation expertise. We also provide roofing and drywall services our new line of hypoallergenic fiberfill also includes mold and mildew suppressants for those hard to access crawl spaces and vents. From designing the insulation product for all your needs, accurately contracting the upgrades, efficiently installing the upgrades, and filing all compliance papers, Alert Installation is your lab to home solution.
Hello, Jenny. I thought you might like a pick me over. It's pick me up. <laughs> Would you like me to? Mm -mm. I'm good, thanks. Coffee's great though. Um, Otto, you gotta stop sneaking up on me like that, okay? Noted. What are you working on, Jenny? Oh, I'm just taking a little break, that's all. <laughs> my manager's trying to get me to do covers, but I really want to focus on my own stuff. What is a cover? A cover is a song that's already popular. But if you only sang covers, where would the next popular song come from? Exactly, you get it? I wish more people felt that way. I am certain Bill and Susan would concur. Your singing is most pleasing. Have you presented this to them? Perhaps you could sing it at the Christmas party. Uh, no, 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 that's probably not my scene, really. Do me a favor and don't mention this to Susan, okay? Why? Do you not think Susan would appreciate your music? Not when I'm using the company computer during work hours. I mean, that could get me fired. What is fired? Fired, you know, like laid off, unemployed, terminated. Susan brought me here. I must be loyal to her. But it would not please me to see you terminated. So you won't mention it then? No need. In my observations, I have found humans to be more efficient workers when they take some time for breaks. And your shift technically ended 38 minutes ago. Oh. Massage. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, man. You are good at that. <laughs> I wish guys could do that. Otto, if you were human, you'd totally be boyfriend material. Thank you for the compliment. It pleases me that you are pleased. <laughs> I observed an event today called a Secret Santa gift exchange. Sounds good. Did you receive a gift? No, that's for the regular employees. I'm an independent contractor. Shame you cannot participate in such a festive looking event. Yeah, it's okay. Bill and Marcy usually pick me up something anyway. All right, Otto, I'm good, thank you. Okay. Oh, and uh, remember to keep this music video thing on the DL, okay? DL? Yeah, the down low. Keep it like a secret. Friends keep secrets for each other, right? Friends keep secrets. So we are friends then? Yeah, Otto, you've always been my friend. Jenny has always been a friend. I understand. Good night, friend Jenny. Good night, Otto. Oh, hey, Mel. You're here early. You're here really late. Busy night? Yeah, I uh, got a little carried away. I'm so ready for bed. You okay to drive? I was gonna make coffee. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. Otto actually already made me some. It's probably still okay. Otto made you coffee? Yeah. Wow, Otto's never made me coffee. Well, that's because I'm cuter. Oh, really? <laughs> sure about that? Oh, my God. Later, Mel. Later.
to the employees. They should be here soon. It's 9.05 to find soon. In or around a short period of time. <laughs> I mean, when do the employees arrive? Usually we are fully staffed by 9.45 or 10.15 a.m. That's the problem, isn't it? Well, there's gonna be some big changes around here and it's thanks to you, Otto. Changes? More machines. A big upgrade. I am most pleased to hear that, Susan. Does that mean my new battery is here? It has been 42 days since I brought it to your attention. I will be much more efficient once it is installed. Well, don't worry. We'll be taking care of your efficiency. Alan's coming in tomorrow. Excellent. I miss Alan. Yeah, you and me both. Well, you have a good day, Otto. You too, Susan. You keep up the good work. <clears throat> Morning, Bill. You like those severance packages? It's a question for the employees that are gonna receive them. This is gonna be tough. I want you in the room when I announce it. No problem. I got your back. Yeah, but who has theirs? Marcy! Staff meeting tomorrow, everyone. Oh, no. Is it really happening? I'm afraid so. Nothing to be afraid about. 10.30 sharp. I independent contractors? Yes, this applies to them, too. And should I tell them what all this is regarding? Just, Just say, say it's that mandatory. It... I mean, that's what I would say. Just tell them it's mandatory. You got it. Bill, I'm sorry. I know. I'm telling you, man, now's the time to make a stand. Uh, yeah, I don't know about all that, though, man. Those last negotiations were a nightmare. You know what, man? I'm hearing little rumors. They might be doing a little new restructuring soon. <laughs> yeah, well, it's corporate. I was trying to put us down, keep us in our place. You know, if we keep acting like this shit is normal, they're just going to keep squeezing us till there's nothing left. I mean, nobody wants to upset the apple cart, but if it wasn't for me, we never would have gotten the 4% bump. Yeah, but then Keller, Amy, Elise, Collins got cut, and then that guy shows up. Hey, take can. Come here. Machines will never fully replace people. They're too stupid. Watch. <laughs> Good morning, Devin. Good morning, Rick. How may I assist you today? Uh, yeah. Did you get those orders filled out for me last night? Yes, Devin. They are complete. Great, thanks. Hey, uh, be a pal and go get me a cup of water, would you? What are you doing? Just asking it to get me a cup of water. Oh, clumsy me. Why don't you go get me another one? <laughs> I just had that donut, man. My throat is parched. I wouldn't want to choke. Choke? Yeah. You know, choke. Stupid <laughs> fucking <laughs> robot. Okay, okay, okay. It's funny, but don't be an asshole. I'm just having a little fun and didn't know any better. Thanks. Oh, would you look at that? Did it again. 
Get me another one. Hey, leave him alone. Stop picking on Otto. You okay, honey? Good morning, Linda. How are you today? It's a machine, Linda. What do you ask your vibrator about its feelings every night? Not every night. Besides, Otto's no vibrator. We don't know what's going on in his head. And he learns by watching us. And we don't even picking up on any of your asshole tendencies. Fuck you, Linda. In your dreams. OK. Hey. Apologize to the lady. Oh, fine. Show me a lady. Oh, what? <laughs> if he treats you like that again, you let me know and I'll tell Susan, OK? It was an accident. He spilled water. No harm done, but thank you for your concern, Linda. Such restraint. You know, you could teach these animals a thing or two. You really could. How much can you bench? Bench? I do not understand. Please rephrase. How much weight can you lift? I can lift 800 pounds. More when I am functioning at 100%. Ooh. Mr. Muscle Machine. Oh! And although I am not a vibrator, as you said, I can vibrate if you so desire. Ow! <laughs> that's cool. That's great, robots. <laughs> See you around, Otto. And then she kissed me. <laughs> Sounds like somebody has a crush on you, Otto. A crush? I do not believe Linda could crush me. No, <laughs> like crushing on you. That's what people say when they like each other. It's a thing. Noted. But Linda appears to be crushing on Rick. She is always with him. Yeah. Can a woman crush on more than one person at a time? Well, that happens more typically with men. Just ask Rick's wife. Actually, don't. That's Linda's problem. I do not think Linda is the right type of companion for me. Too many loose screws? I do not understand. Please rephrase. Don't worry about it. Nice, huh? It is very pretty. Best show in town. You know, when I first started working here, all those buildings weren't there. Times are changing. You weirdo, that's my song. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> Keep this on the DL, okay? Susan hates when I spoke up here. Noted. On the DL. Thanks, Otto. You're the best. Jenny. Yeah? Why do you have an image of a bird on your neck? Oh, that's Clive. It's just a, a raven I rescued. He fell out of the nest and he was a little baby. You protected the bird? Yeah. I only had him for three weeks, but I loved him. You'd be surprised how attached you get to something when you're hand-feeding it every two hours. <laughs> anyway, you got it big and strong, learn how to fly, and so I let him go. So the drawing is an expression of love? Yeah, you could say that. Shall we? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Hey, Marcy. Are you at work? Okay, awesome. W would you mind coming to get me on your way? Thanks again for doing this. No worries. But I don't think you can put off getting that car fixed any longer. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need some extra cash to pull that off. Well, how goes this thing, eh? Oh, it's going. Um, let's see, I, uh, I got another rejection letter, but it was from a bigger record label this time, so that's progress, right? Yeah, you just keep at it. It is your dream, you gotta follow it. Never give up. 
Never, Never surrender. surrender. <laughs> That's right. Yes. 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 <laughs> so what's the big announcement? Christmas bonuses, I hope? Not exactly. Layoffs again? It's pretty major this time. But don't panic yet. I think you're gonna be okay. Yeah, here's hope. All this stuff for too long. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Glad I could give you a ride today. Hey, hey, mercy! 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 Uh. Yeah, hey, yeah, you! This is why I work the night shift. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell anybody what's going on? Got a bunch of employees here standing around, nobody knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. It's a need to know situation, all right? I need to know. And you'll find out in five minutes. So is everybody here? Where are Rick and Linda? Hey, big boy. I think we're still waiting for a few people. Who's that? Oh, that's Alan Hahn of Automotive Solutions. He's the guy who invented auto. Nice, huh? Mm. I think I have a scientist fetish. <laughs> Hi. Okay, let's get started. Just a reminder, tonight is the official company Christmas party. Sincerely hope you're all going to be there. I'll be the last one. I want you all to know how much I appreciate your loyalty and your service. When I started this company 15 years ago with Susan's father, Jared Williamson, none of us could imagine how much this company would grow. And after his passing last year, how much it would have to change. And that brings us here today. Susan? With progress comes change. In order to remain a leader in the marketplace, we've decided to go fully automated. This hasn't been an easy decision but it's the only way for us to remain competitive. Alan Hahn with Automotive Solutions will be helping us with the transition. Um, hello? My car's never gonna get fixed now, is it? I'm telling you, I think you're gonna be okay. There's an excellent severance package. Uh, we're gonna meet personally with each one of you, so please don't leave until Marcy's contacted you. It's because of that stupid machine, isn't it? I can understand how you must be feeling. But I ask you all to look at this as an amazing opportunity for reinvention. The world is changing and we must change along with it. Well, that sucks. Everyone, take a close look at your compensation packages. The company will only honor the package if you comply for the next month with the transition. Wait, what's that mean? It will be your responsibility to train the new units to perform your daily tasks. Oh, fuck that. No way. I am not training a machine to replace me. Then that will be your choice. But failure to comply will forfeit your severance packages. Huh. Was that so? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what's he doing? Devin, put the shovel down. Devin, are you distressed? Would you like a massage? Auto, auto, are you okay? You out of your mind? It looks done to cost you your severance. Is he damaged? Otto. Otto, are you okay? You okay? Otto! I am fine. Thank you, Jenny. He's okay. Otto's built to handle worse damage than this. He's a hunk of junk! Funny coming from a piece of garbage like you. Get this piece of trash out of here. Get injured the trash, Susan. You're screwing with people's lives, all for the bottom line. How's it feel to be a corporate whore, you stuck-up bitch? Sticks and stones. Get him out of here! Just a machine. 
Are we good? Yeah. I need a word with you, Miss Hanover. Okay. What do we miss? The announcements to update your resumes. You've been with us here a while. Five years. As a freelancer? Yep. What would you say if I offered you a staff position? Me? That'd be kind of weird. Why? Because you're letting all those people go. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. It's cute. Look, you know, this isn't personal. I'm just trying to keep this place open. So, as you know, a staff position would be a little bit less than what you're making now, but it would entitle you to full benefits. We're talking 401k, medical, and two weeks paid vacation. It's not bad. So how much of a pay cut? Um, 32%. <sighs> that seems a bit high. To be frank, I wanted to cut your position, but Bill wanted to keep you on. He wants you to watch the robots in addition to the job that you're already doing. I mean, I could have a first year college grad do your job for half the pay we're going to give you. It's just the way it is. So what do you say? All right, let me see what I got for you. Let me just put this right up here. Hey, did you see Susan? Yeah. And? Are you staying? Well, struggling artist is better than starving artist, so yes. Yes, oh honey, I'm so happy. I did not want to be the only human working here. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, Alan, this is Jenny Hanover. She's going to be working with the new machines. And Jenny, this is Alan Hahn. Hello. Hi. Yeah, we've got a lot to go over. So, uh, will both of you lovely ladies be going to this party tonight? Oh, my God, I left my dress at home. Oh, uh, Jenny's car's in the shop. I actually drove her in this morning. But hey, if you need a ride, I've got like 90 minutes before my meeting with Bill and Susan, so. Alan, do you have my new yes. battery? Uh, one second, Otto. Yeah, that would be great. Just show me where to go. Alan, I am currently only operating at 65% of my capability. And we'll take care of all that tonight, Otto, okay? Oh, thank you. All right, bye, Marcy. Bye. Bye, Otto. I do believe there's a love connection going on there. for doing this. Listen, I've still got some time. Is there some place along the way we can get something to eat? And all that craziness this morning, I never grabbed one of those bagels. Yeah, I know a place. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect, let's go. Okay. So how do you know Susan? Oh, we, um, we went out of Berkeley. Uh, kind of hit it off and later partnered up on a couple of tech sector startups. Oh. It didn't last, though. Uh, she got impatient and shifted away from development and started running businesses. I know, boring, right? Uh, but I kept at it, uh, put together a good team, and pretty soon, Otto was born. He's an amazing machine. You like him? I do, actually. He's uh, very friendly. Otto, they need you in receiving. I will be right there. Hey, what are you doing over here? It is a secret. Okay. It's like I'm talking to a real person. A very kind but awkward person. <laughs> that is the RT7 learning chip. Otto was designed to learn by watching human behavior so that he could work more easily alongside people. Does he have feelings? Because I swear to God, sometimes no, it feels... No, 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 no. It's just a simulation of emotions. See, the more he comprehends human behavior, the more he can be of service. Uh, for example, if someone's having a, a tough day, he'll recognize it and change his interactions. Ask if you're okay or, or bring you a cup of coffee. Or give you a massage. 
He's giving you a massage? Oh, yeah. He's actually pretty good at it. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt it, although <laughs> HR might have a, a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> but those are exactly the kind of examples I'm talking about. He'll adapt and find ways to increase not only his own efficiency, but the efficiency of everyone else around him. So it's all about efficiency. Yeah, I mean, he's still just a machine, and machines are great at performing program tasks, but they can't create. Only a human being with a soul can do that, and that's why jobs like yours are secure. Yeah, for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> the day a machine can create something is the day it becomes sentient, and that Man, man, that would be extraordinary. You know, I thought he had a thing for me. I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. <laughs> the fact that you worked so well with him the last couple months is why your input's going to be so important with programming the new models. New model? Otto was the prototype. He was never meant for this kind of work. Uh, but the new models will be perfect, streamlined, more job-oriented. So what was Otto originally made for? Well, let's just say when I was creating him, I wasn't exactly dreaming, oh, maybe my robot might be at alert insulation someday. Yeah, I can relate. Oh, so this place wasn't your dream either? Will I be replaced if I say no? Don't worry, you're safe. But seriously, um, what is your dream? Wow, you're really good. Thanks. So tell me, how does a naturally gifted singer such as yourself wind up editing corporate videos? Well, a girl's got to pay rent somehow, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I started editing my own stuff, and then I started freelancing, and I answered an ad online and found this place, and the rest is history. And what about the singing? Still at it. Stubborn, I guess. Yeah, me too. Everyone told me the tech I was trying to do with auto was more than a decade away, but I never gave up. And now it's here. Coffee? <laughs> Literally, yeah. Jenny, I understand you're working a double shift today. I thought you could use a pick-me-up. Uh, no, that's okay, Otto. I already had some coffee. Thank you, though. Maybe later. Noted. Alan. Could we install my new battery now? I am at 55%. Uh, actually, you know, that meeting with Bill and Susan's in a few minutes, but I promise you that we'll take care of you tonight, all right? Otto? Yes, tonight. Very well. I will work now. See you both later. See what I mean? Yeah. We'll be uh, downloading his memory tonight, so uh, we'll take a good look at it, and it should be fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hop in. Uh, you'll still be here? Yep. All right. All right. Alan. Sorry about that mess this morning. Hey, people are upset. These things are bound to happen, right? Yeah, real sad. So, we on schedule? Yep. Uh, once we copy Otto's data, we can start the deactivation process. You're getting rid of Otto? He's one of my best workers. Bill, he's just a prototype. The next models are going to be much more efficient. So I just threw him away? Well, his programming's old and his battery's dying. We can bring in two more units for the cost of one replacement battery. Start fresh. These new machines are entirely different entities. They're gonna be installed with all of the data Auto's ever collected and infused into the new and improved programming. So no more Auto? No. Auto's final stage will be uh, this. What's that? The Ultra Neutralizer. My nephew named it. He's seven. Anyway, there's a socket at the back of Otto's head. Uh, once we've downloaded his data, uh, the neutralizer will go into the socket, and this button will send an e-impulse into circuitry, frying his neural processors, uh, effectively terminating him, zero chance of revival. Why would that even need to be installed? As a safeguard. It's a proprietary tech. I can't let the competition get a hold of this. Right. You seem disappointed. I just feel sorry for him. Well, that means we've done our job right. So everyone's replaceable in the new world order, huh? It's just a machine, Bill. Just a machine.
Are you okay? I had an accident. I will clean it. It's okay. Um, I can take care of it. They need you in shipping. Yes. Yes, shipping. Much work to be done. Have a good day, Marcy. It's been over an hour. Did you get my text? Sorry, it's been tough getting out of that place with everything going on. Beer? So, why don't you tell me what this is all about? I need you to get me back in there. 15 minutes, tops. No flipping way. I am not risking my severance package over you, Devin. Well, come on. Nobody's gonna be in there after six anyway. They're all going to the Christmas party. Why the hell do you need to be back there? I left some personal stuff backed up on the shipping computer. So get me a flash drive. I'll go in and grab it for you. No, I'm the only one that knows where it is. Then what's the problem? No one's going to find it, and in a couple weeks, it's not going to matter. Come on, will you just help me out on this? No. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm not going to help you out on this. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess Bill's just going to have to get an anonymous phone call about that batch of defective cell phones. You remember the ones that got lost on the way back to the manufacturer? Meet me at the back entrance of the warehouse at 6 p.m. sharp. Don't be late, because I am not waiting around for you. Bill, we gotta get going. Everyone is arriving at the hall. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. Anything left on the list? You mean who's been naughty and who's been nice? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Christmas levity. The new cooling gel is back from testing. Passed with flying colors. Well, that's some good news. It's all good news, Bill. Profits are gonna skyrocket next year. You'll see. Ho, ho, how do I look? Like a bundle of Christmas cheer. Okay. You coming? Yeah, I just have a couple things to wrap up. Do you want a bow? He thought it was funny. Me too. Let's go. Now, Otto, I'm gonna need you to be perfectly still. Yes, Alan. I will comply. Precisely how long do I need to keep still? Uh, I can tell you exactly how long in just a second. One hour and four. And what is the purpose of this data transfer? To provide the new units with all the information you've learned while working here. When this is complete, will you install my new battery? Tomorrow. Everything will be in order by tomorrow. Okay, you set. You can go. Jenny. Yep. Will you stay with me for a moment? Um, sure. Fascinating. So what's up? Jenny, Alan is not providing accurate information. What do you mean? I heard him talking with Bill and Susan. He has no intention of replacing my battery. He plans to deactivate me. Why would he do that? He loves you. All he does is talk about how amazing you are. So I just threw him away. Well, his programming's old and his battery's dying. We can bring in two more units for the cost of one replacement battery. Start fresh. Can you help me? I'll give it a shot. I mean, my words don't exactly carry a lot of weight around here. Carry weight? I mean, I don't know if they're gonna listen. Please, Jenny, make them understand. I do not wish to be deactivated. I enjoy working here with you. This job gives me purpose. There is no purpose in being deactivated. Okay, I'll give it my best. Just promise me you'll wait here, okay? I will wait. Jenny. Yeah. Thank you for being my friend. Of course.
that, that's why you're not in development anymore. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> that's a terrible <laughs> When did you get this? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna deactivate auto? Um, who? Who, who told you this? Auto did. He must have been spying on us when we were talking to Bill. Amazing. Thanks for doing this. You better make it quick. There's people still in there. Susan, that Allen guy. I think uh, Lynn and Rick are fooling around in the bathroom or yeah, something. Yeah, they'll never know I'm there. It's fine. They better not, because if you get caught, it's not your head, it's mine. Yeah, I get it. Both our heads. See you back at the bar when you're done. I'm sorry that we didn't tell you. We just wanted to keep things quiet until the process was done. But why? Because you were afraid you'd upset him. Jimmy, he doesn't get upset. Okay, we've already been over this. They're not real emotions. They're real to Otto. There's nothing more that can be done is batteries already dead so replace it it's old tech we don't even have anything compatible to it anymore well couldn't you just like take his brain and put it in one of the new units no, no. his operating system's different it's like uh, with um with home computers okay sometimes the old programs just don't work with the new system to bring in the new tech we had to get rid of the old no so it's just all about the bottom line huh where are you going? To tell Otto the truth. Well, I reconsider that. Otto was never supposed to know about any of this. It was just supposed to be another day, and after the data transfer, I was gonna shut him off peacefully. If Otto doesn't have any real emotion, then why would it matter if I told him the truth? You're right. Tell him the truth, or tell him what he wants to hear. It's your call. I'm starting to wonder who the real robots are around here. What was that all about? In spying? That's not part of its current programming. No, no it isn't. I think Otto might be reverting to his original initiatives. How could that happen when the original hard drive was replaced? Alan? You did replace its original hard drive. It was prohibitively expensive, all right? Uh, we did a deep erase and overrode it with the new programming. Damn it, Alan, we discussed this. Otto's parts are one of a kind, okay? We begun production on the new models. Doing a deep erase was just as good as getting a new one. Residual data was always a possibility. I would have never allowed you to bring it in here. It was the only way to meet your deadline, Susan. Oh, so now it's my fault. I trusted you. Okay, okay. Just, 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 just hear me out, okay? It, it seems Otto's emotions have become more sapient. This data will be priceless. We're talking about something much bigger than worker or androids here. I, I'm going there. She can't be alone with Otto. Hey, hey, hey. I was fine. Everything's fine. You let go of me, Alan. That's the time you enjoyed this. Times change. Sit down! <laughs> Relax. This will be all over in less than an hour. Okay? You look good. Did you tell your wife yet? I can't say anything right now. It's just bad timing with all these layoffs. Honestly, it's a money thing. You have money. I have her money, and without her... I thought you didn't love her anymore. It's not a love thing. Oh, really? So what am I to you? Just some office slut? God, no. I'm the slut, okay? I'm the one cheating on my wife. I'm a floozy. So what does that make me? Happily single? Get out of here. 
What? Now. On, Get the fuck out, dick. It's Rick. Hey, Otto. I got some great news. They're not going to deactivate you. Aren't you happy? Yes. I am most pleased. What changed their mind? Well, I convinced them that it would be better for you to stick around so that you could train the new machines. So I can keep my job? Yeah, Otto, nobody does your job better than you do. I told them that you're more than just a machine. You're special. I am special? Yeah. Never forget that. You're my favorite employee here. I am pleased to know this. You are my favorite as well, Jenny. Thank you for helping me. That's what friends do. I better go get ready for the Christmas party. <laughs> do you think they would mind if I attend? I have never been to a Christmas party before. It would please me to go with you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? It's a date. A date? I am pleased. Does this mean we are more than just friends? We're special friends, Otto. Okay, so you stay here and I'll be back when Alan's done with you, okay? Yes, I will wait. See you, Otto. your date for the Christmas party's off, huh? You know, it's bad enough you steal our jobs, and now you think you can take our women, too? That's well, not gonna happen. Even a used-up little whore like Jenny deserves better than you. Jenny. <laughs> you really are spinning with her, aren't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what. When I'm through with you, I'll make sure to give her some special attention. You know, a real good screw. You know what a screw is, don't you, Otto? Well, just imagine real big ones filling up every one of Jenny's pretty little holes. You will not harm her. What the fuck? 
Must protect Jenny. <laughs> you, you, you're, you're suffering a major malfunction here, man. I just... <laughs> quiet. You must be quiet, prisoner. Quiet. You will give our location away. until I return for you. Identify yourselves, enemy or ally. Otto, what are you doing up? We are under attack. The compound is surrounded. The enemy has breached our defenses. We must take evasive measures. He's reactivated his laser. Allies. Uh, we're allies, Otto. I'm Susan Williamson, and this is your creator, Alan Hahn. You remember Alan, right? Hey. Identities confirmed. Alan, Otto is trying to protect us. Right. Otto, stand down. That's headquarters, and... It's going to need us to answer the call. Affirmative. But proceed with caution. It might be a trap. He is right. We don't want anyone we can't trust knowing about our situation. It'd be very bad for all of us. Hello? Hey, Susan, you done yet? Uh, we ran into some issues. It may take a little time to iron them out, but... We'll be okay. Listen, as soon as you deactivate auto, get back here as soon as possible. The troops are getting restless. I'm afraid they're gonna attack at any minute. Yeah, I can imagine. We'll talk about it when I get there. Okay. You are the enemy. You were ordered to deactivate me. No, I wasn't. Do not lie. I heard what your commander said. Otto, you misunderstood. Buddy, you got this all wrong. Huh? I heard you. You were going to deactivate me. Fire me. Kill me. You are wrong, okay? We wanted to update you. Promote you. Give you a raise. I will give you a raise, Alan. Arnold, stop, okay? You don't know what you're doing. Incorrect. I know exactly what I am doing. This job gives me purpose, and I will not allow you to take away my purpose. Nobody's trying to do that, okay? We, we, we want you to stay on the job. Susan, throw me out of here! Otto! I'm in charge of doing all the staffing here. I can make sure that we keep you on. I can draw up a contract where we make sure that no one deactivates you. I can throw in a 401k. Medical? Two weeks paid vacation? Okay, six weeks. Maybe a company car? Or a truck? I do not trust you. You have both lied to me. You are the enemy, and the enemy must be destroyed.
Jesus, Otto. What did I tell you about sneaking up on me? Jenny, I am sorry. I did not mean to sneak up on you without a warning. It's okay. Wait, what are you still doing up? The facility is under attack. Under attack? By who? I have not yet ascertained their motive, but they are here, and we must be careful. I think you might be confused, Otto. Do not fear, Jenny. I will protect you. Come with me. We must be cautious. Okay, Otto. safe here for the time being. Okay. Jenny, there is something that is bothering me. What's that? Why did you tell me that Alan and Susan reconsidered deactivating me? Unless my processors are incorrect, they clearly intended to. What makes you say that? I had a discussion with Alan and Susan. Please provide an explanation. Look, I'm sorry. I, I tried. They said there was nothing they could do for you. Then why lie to me? Because I didn't want you to spend your last moments worrying. I wanted you to be happy. I was trying to protect you. They said you would just go to sleep. There's an intruder in the perimeter. You sure about that, Otto? Aren't Alan and Susan still in the building? It is not Alan. I will investigate, Jenny. This is a hostile environment. Every precaution must be taken. For your safety, stay here. Okay. Day of my life since I started working in this godforsaken place. Sorry, Otto. No offense. It's nice to see a familiar face, though. Even if it does belong to a robot. A robot. to do. I'm not a bad person, you know. Fuck. I should have never gotten involved with Rick. Look at me. Just playing my guts to a robot. I am sorry about Rick. Yeah, well, it's done is done, right? Correct. You know, you're lucky, Otto. You don't need anyone. No one to drag you down. Now we're both alone. We are not alone. I am here, and you are here. I've never said this before, but... Sometimes when I talk to you... I feel like you're... Oh. I don't, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just saying, you seem to get me. Get you? Are you crushing on me, Linda? <laughs> Would that be so bad? I just really need a hug right now. <laughs> you know what's funny? <sighs> Something so simple. <sighs> it can feel 
so good. Mm. Oh. You can ease up a little on that. Building. Hello, are you back? Hello. Hello?
Kenny. Why are you holding that axe? Did I make you angry? Please, tell me what I did so that I may correct the error. I did not intend to murder anyone. It was a malfunction. It will not happen again. Please do not be afraid of me. There you are. Stop. What the fuck was that? That was a warning shot, Jenny. You would shoot me? No. You wouldn't. Jenny, stop. Okay, then oh, we have to hide. Anyone, please. What the fuck is taking that asshole so fucking long? You are so dead when I find you. office. We got Otto after Dad died, and Otto only goes where he knows. So you're saying since nobody comes in here, we'll be safe. Yeah. Good thinking. We can't sit here all night, though. Eventually, he'll figure out where we are. He learns. There could be other people still in the building. When did you grow a conscience? Excuse me? He's here because of you. You think I don't know that? I was protecting my father's legacy. None of this was supposed to happen. Okay, shh, just calm down. Alan, cut corners, okay? What do you mean, cutting corners? Otto was commissioned for military use. You brought a military weapon in here? Alan said that it would be safe. He's firing a fucking laser. We don't need that for shipping and receiving. Why didn't you just keep him in the military? He wasn't a very good soldier. No kidding. His simulated emotions caused him to form an attachment with the humans he served with. In the end, soldiers got killed. So rather than take him to a junkyard, you brought him here? Great idea. We're dead if we don't make it out of here. It's hopeless. Phones aren't dead. Everything's scrambled. The power's off. Well, I'm responsible for the power being off. I figured it would prevent him from recharging. What's that? Alan said that this could help power down auto, but we have to get close enough to use it. I think I know a way. Now this is starting to look like a party! <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm a little concerned. I haven't heard from Susan in an hour and a half. 
Oh. You should have been back by now. Oh, things are just probably taking longer than planned. It happens. Come on, Santa, let's pass out some presents. People could use a little joy in the world, you know, especially tonight. For sure. Hey, everybody! Hey. Fixer Auto, come on, they're coming, we gotta go. Auto. Auto. Jenny, you have returned. I normally would be pleased, but I don't feel like myself. How do you feel? I am not certain, but I do not find it pleasing. I killed Linda. She was always nice to me, and I killed her. It was a mistake, Otto, wasn't it? Otto, look at me. Wasn't it? It was a mistake. Can we fix her? We can't fix her, Otto. She's dead. I never intended to do those things. But I did them. Does that make me bad? You were confused. Malfunctioning. It doesn't make you bad. They will want to deactivate me. No one is going to deactivate you. <laughs> It will harm me. Okay, okay, look. I'll destroy it. Just let Susan go. Why? Because she's a human being, Otto. Here to feel bad about what happened to Linda and Alan. You're not supposed to harm employees, remember? This will only make things worse. I'll give you this. And you let Susan go, okay? But she is the enemy. She's not the enemy, Otto. She's just scared. We both are. Let us go, Otto. Intruder. 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 Shit. Wait, that's Mel! 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 What's wrong? The building codes won't work. It's Otto. He's gone insane. What? He locked us in here. Can you get us out of here? Slow down. Just wait. I've, I've had a few drinks tonight. Wait. How did you get in here? You promise you won't tell the boss? I'm your boss, Mel. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I came in through the... Corgan Security, this is Jacqueline. We have an alarm at your location. False alarm. All is well. Please cancel. Security number 24783B. 
Thank you. Anything else we may help you with? No, thank you. Have a nice day. Accidental deaths of Devon, Rick, Alan, Linda, and Mel. Stop. That was impressive. Good arm. I grew up with three brothers. Can he see us? I don't get equipped with heat vision. It came in handy for night attacks. That's great.
we fry him. Uh, how are we gonna get close enough to hit him with that? He'll come to us. No, it won't. Things will never be the same again. Why? Because you murdered people. It was a malfunction. I did not intend to kill. Then what are you doing right now? I just... I just want to live. Stand aside, Jenny. I do not wish to harm you. You would harm me? No. Jenny is my friend. Friends help each other. I can't be your friend anymore, Otto. So do what you have to do. No, don't make me. I'm sorry, Otto. No! Taking Susan to the hospital to make sure she's okay. I want you to get checked out too. Okay, I'll be right down. You did good, Jenny. I'm really sorry about all this. It wasn't your fault. Hey, Andy, I grabbed your stuff. Oh, thanks, Marcy. This isn't mine, though. It was on your desk. I'll be back, okay? Did you receive a gift? No, that's for the regular employees. I'm an independent contractor. The day a machine can create something is the day it becomes sentient, and that would be extraordinary. So the drawing is an expression of love? Yeah, you could say that. 